what is the impact on families in, in so-called atypical family structures who, who maybe don't match the cultural ideal of the perfect family form? Well, I, don't, I haven't specifically studied the lived experiences of these people, but let's just talk about a few examples. Suppose you are a child who has two women as parents. Suppose you're in a school in which you're told that you are not a family, which you are told you are not authentic. You know, this is a basic attack on the identity and the family of the child. That has to have a powerful effect. But beyond that, there are legal implications of which groups we count as families and which groups we don't. For example, if you are not legally a family, do you have right to health insurance? If you're not legally a family, who is responsible? What would happen in the case of dissolution of a, of, 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 of a marriage or of a partnership? There, there are real implications to, it, it's not just a question of oh, what counts as a family. What counts as a family has clear legal implications and clear personal implications for 